Stopping by at the hardware shop because I think I have an exhaust leak. So we'll check right now. So it is leaking from that gasket right there. So everything's working fine now. Only problem is, is I have a system to lean. I put a new gasket on the intake manifold, but I spray some brake, uh, brake part cleaner right here. And uh, it's adding a little funny, so it didn't seal right. So I'm gonna take off the manifold real quick. A couple of tens, uh, take off the reservoir that it bolts on right there. And just the intake right here and call it a day. I took the manifold off already so right here is where <clears throat> it was leaking I don't know why I have a little bit of oil here but let me try to clean it up a little bit and then uh, put it back in there doesn't seem like it's fucking like <clears throat> not flat because that would affect it. But let me go with the razor blade real quick. Make sure everything's good. There. I'm going to give it a quick little start. Put some uh, brake cleaner on this. I also got package i think those are the lug nuts uh this one doesn't have um lug nuts but mine does so i bought these same ones for this one because this one doesn't have a locking nut uh like this one was missing it so i just bought a new set and i took the old ones out so I'm gonna install those probably, probably right now and unpackage that right now. But I used to have this one and I didn't like it. So, um, and I also lost the key. So I lost one of these and I lost the key. So I gotta remove that one, remove all those lug nuts and get this fixed right now. Main thing is getting this car up and running right without the system to lean and Give it a go, man. Hopefully, I'm done with it. Now, let's eat this damn Indian food that neither of us So we're back at Toyota, buying some seals for the injector because we have a system to lean there. And I bought myself a TRD hat. I don't know why you don't have a TRD shirt. Yes, I do. I have a TRD rear lip, TRD Kazuma, TRD side skirt. So it was actually $19.95, but they were on sale five bucks off. So $14, 50 bucks. I care. <laughs> I don't know why you fucking. <laughs> Time to put these little seals on. Those go from the injector to the head. So, fairly easy. Take them off. Size 12. That's it. Uh, 
about having a leak on my girl's car and I think it's the manifold that's warped. We're taking the stock manifold from this one and we're probably gonna put it on that car, but we're gonna go to my friend's shop, do a leak, a, a smoke test on it and make sure it's coming from the intake manifold. I did try to reseal it. It does have a new gasket, so yeah, I'm gonna go right there real quick and see if we can fix this lean code. That's all that's missing. So we just came from my buddy's shop and it was leaking from right here. So we are gonna put a gasket from AutoZone. This one is actually carbon. It's a little thicker, so maybe it'll seal better. If not, I would have to resurface this all over again, the intake manifold, and then put this one or the OEM one, um, maybe more towards this one because it's thicker and it's able to uh, seal it better. So let's give it a try. Let's take off the manifold again, clean it up, and slap on that manifold or this gasket real quick. So manifold is out. Uh, just dropped one of the bolts right there. I'm trying to find it. I found the screw. It was stuck there by the AC compressor. It was a pain in the ass to do. Um, but it's I already got it. Let's put the intake manifold. I probably do have to fix this hose right here. Um, it's leaking coolant right there. Uh, it's probably cracked or anything. So gotta fix that also. Um, let's put that intake manifold back in with the new gasket and call it a day. Hopefully it seals right. If not, I will have to cut um, the DDPR and make it flat. Hopefully this works. good like 20 miles and no check engine light yet no pending code so i think it's fixed uh, i think that's what all it was we're actually going to put everything back and install the lug nuts bumpers on now i just gotta put the cf stuff here c1 bar and then then the lug nuts <clears throat> there it is everything's back together now swap out the lug nuts because uh, one of them is missing the lock key so I got myself some rays to match up the gram lights so this one already took it off so I gotta take off the other ones and replace all these other ones because they're not matching so I'm replace them with this and then probably get my girl's car a wash it needs it's due for a wash so do that for her real quick this i bought it from invasive i think i paid like 100 bucks to ship and everything it's not bad so has a lock and key there's 17 so let's put them on
there it is wheel number one done looks way better than this see this is the locking one and these are the old ones they look ugly so i'd rather have matching ray hook cabs and gram lights so on to the next three number two was done and I have the center caps the lug nuts and I also have the valve stems so everything's raised so yeah move on to the next two Wheel number three done. Last one to go over there. So there it is. All of them are done. Way better than these mismatching non ray ass. So, yeah, probably gonna give it a wash if I have time right now. Um, it's long overdue. This car has been sitting for like a week or two weeks since we dropped the motor and changed out the clutch and all the seals and all the stuff and problems that this car had. But everything's fixed right now. So let's see how my girl likes the clutch. If not, then um, later on I'll swap out the clutch for her. If she wants to go to a stiffer clutch stage one stage two but her car is up and running right so that's all that matters <laughs> 